Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club here in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And today, stack and tilt, how to stop the fat shots. I'm getting messages on my YouTube channel about people hitting it fat, hitting it thin, but definitely the fat shots. How do we stop them? What's causing it? Why are we doing it? And it's become a little, uh, you know, it gets frustrating. You don't want to hit behind the ball. You want to hit the ball solid. And so there's a couple things. Number one, uh, number one, the first two words of stack and tilt, weight forward. So the weight has to be on the left leg during impact. So the weight has to be forward for you to uh, hit the ball, then the turf. This is our number one objective in stack and tilt. Ball first contact, then hit the turf. So low point, you're hitting the ball, and then the turf on the opposite side. So that's number one is weight forward, okay? So many people mess that up. They don't realize they're doing it or they're not doing it and they end up on their back foot and they hit behind the ball. So weight forward and that's a lot in the transition too. As you come down, as you come down, you must have the weight on the left leg. You can see this right here. Weight forward, moving forward. That's so important to do. That's just a simple way to stop hitting it fat. So weight forward, number one. So I can even hit a little shot here. All I'm gonna do is focus on weight forward and also just um, uh, just small shot, weight forward. Definitely not gonna hit behind the ball. That's, that's number one. So weight forward, you wanna do 10 shots. So I recommend, I always re recommend to people 10 shots at a time. So you start with weight forward, okay? Hit 10 shots, small shots. You don't have to hit big shots. Um, you can if you wanna go, if you wanna swing bigger, it's fine. But I would recommend, um, you know, just sticking with the um, P3 to P8 swing. That way it's just easier for you to hit the ball more consistently. So that, that's actually a great way to stop hitting it fat as well. Uh, so the second part of stack and tilt and stop hitting it fat is controlling the radius, okay? Controlling your arms, controlling the club. I see so many people that bend their arms and wrists. This is highly overlooked by pretty much everyone in the golf profession and golfers, I should say. Uh, the way the arms are structured through the ball. Um, when I see people topping the ball out here at Deer Creek, um, the, if you would just kind of fix their arms and wrists, they would not top the ball. They'd hit the ball in the air pretty much every time. So that's super important. It starts a lot from the grip. There's a lot of times that people hold the club too much in the palm. I think you can see this right here. A lot of people have the club way, that's why you get those wear, wear marks out underneath the thumb. So this is super important as well. You want to have the grip in the fingers of your lead hand, for me my left hand. That's really important because this helps with leverage. This helps with retaining this uh, wrist hinge here. And then your right hand again, you want to have it in the fingers of your right hand. So I see so many people gripping the club like almost like a hot dog underneath. You're like holding, like eating a hot dog. So they're gripping it like this. So they, you want to have the, the, the right hand or the trail hand on the side of the club. That's very important, okay? So from there, controlling the radius, there's a distance from your left shoulder to the club head, okay? As soon as I, as soon as I pull my arms in and bend my wrist, that changes that radius. So that's why you want to take your time with this. You want to, you want to, you really get control of how this club swings around your body. Again, it's it's a heavy club. You're swinging the club really fast, so it's, it becomes very heavy. So you have to take your time. You have to learn how to control the radius. One of the things I like to do is feel like my arms are kind of attached to my body here. So my arms are, my, my upper arms, my triceps are into my body. That's the first thing, so I'm gonna feel a lot of connection. You can see I have this triangle with my arms and shoulder. And then from here, you can see how my, my hands are in front of the club head, okay? So, so many people, when I see them and they hit it fat, the weight's back and then the arms are, are back here. So it kind of looks like, you know, where the, where the club head is, is in front of the uh, hand. So I just did a video, in fact, about that. You can check that out, I'll put it on the link. but when you're swinging and controlling the radius, this is something that can really help you hit the ball more solid. And again, I see so many people with the arms bending. So spend some time, spend some time with working how on the arms, how the arms work, 
okay, how the wrists work. You know, I see there's so many people that go, when they swing through the ball, their left wrist goes into extension. So it goes this way. That's really what, what you do is when, you, when, your, when your wrist goes into extension, you're actually shallowing the club. So what happens is you're, you're actually bringing the club off the ground a lot sooner. So if I don't, if I keep my wrist, you know, flex this way um, or bowed, what that does is that helps me steepen the shaft or steepen the shot. So when I come back into the ball, now as the club comes down, now, now the club isn't swinging up, but the club head is actually swinging down back into the ball, and that's when you hit the ball then the turf. So this is super important to understand the wrist movement as well. Uh, but this is something that you can, you can, when you do this, you can work on this in the mirror. So if you just hold the club up in front of you, and I'm looking in the camera right here, I, I mean, this is a great picture for me. So as I go through the ball, okay, you can see is that when I turn through, my arms haven't pulled apart, my wrists aren't bent. So this is controlling the radius. So again, there's, there's two, there's the weight forward, that's number one, that's the first piece and controlling the radius is the second piece. This is something that I do on a daily basis with golfers. Uh, if you check out my Instagram page or my Facebook page, you'll see a lot of pictures of golfers going from bent arms to straight arms and controlled wrist. And that happens at that, you can, you can change that immediately, but you have to train that in. So you wanna hit a lot of small shots and just work on that little uh, motion. And that's why that's why swinging slowly and controlling the radius at first with small shots is much better than trying to swing full because a lot of golfers need to need to feel the control their hands and and the impact and not you know and swinging fast is not the best way to go always but you you can do it fast and it happens relatively quickly that's what's so cool about this. That's what's great about stack and tilt. Because it is a system, it's a roadmap, and understanding that, okay, my arms are flexing, my wrists are bending, what do I need to do? Um, you can also think about like arms straight as you go through the ball. I tell people sometimes you wanna feel like your arms are like steel rods as they go through the ball. So instead of flexing their arms, they're steel rods through the ball. So that's very important. And so you can see when I go through the ball, I'm not, there's no bending. Um, something you should just practice on a lot. And, and it's a lot of support. Again, go back a little bit to the arms to the side of the body. Arms to the side of the body. And as you go through, now you can see how my hands are in front of my body. The club head hasn't released yet. Now my low point is gonna happen after the ball. So controlling the radius. So a little detail here. The center of the golf swing is the left shoulder. So if you understand that the center of the golf swing is the left shoulder, okay, the low point is underneath the left shoulder or underneath the left foot. That's where the low point is. So if you focus on low point under the left shoulder, you're always gonna make sure you're, you're, gonna, go, you're gonna go from hitting by your right foot to hitting to your left foot. So the bottom of the swing, the divot. So you're gonna hit the ball, then the turf. So this is super important when we do this. So I'm always drawing a line off of somebody's left foot, which is underneath, underneath the left shoulder. So from here, I'm able to compress the ball and hit the ball solid and have it fly out there pretty good. So again, my name's Jess Frank. I love teaching this game. I love helping people play better golf. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I love it. So hopefully the stack and tilt, stop hitting it fat, will help your game. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you really enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Please turn on your notifications. Please leave a comment and share it. If you know a friend that's hitting it fat, share it with them. That would be awesome. So have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.